Marine Marines advising a second plane into the World Trade Center. Okay. I was at my sister Lisa's apartment, helping her get her son Michael ready for school. But Paul was already heading down the east side of New York toward the Blazing Towers. Two hijacked planes had been slammed deliberately into the Twin Towers. Their fuel load of 10,000 gallons ignited immediately. In the towers, which at that time of day housed about 15,000 people, there must have been complete panic. Many were spilling out into the street. This is a U.S. airline. It was a plane, commercial plane coming towards us. I said, it's going to hit my building. It's going to hit my building. All of a sudden, it made a left-hand turn and a right, and it hit. All of a sudden, the whole downtown area just shook. It just literally, I thought it was an earthquake at, at 1.2, and then you could literally see the whole thing just explode. It was, it was horrible. Within minutes of arrival, a fifth alarm was transmitted for a major incident in a high-rise building. All right, cancel authority, chief Gansey, fifth alarm, west investing. Fifth alarm. Fifty units were arriving on the streets below. On board, the men were thinking this fire would be one hell of a fight. But for many of them, this would be their last alarm. Our communications room was being deluged with calls from desperate people trapped high in the towers. We're getting reports on 104th floor, back room, 25 to 30 people trapped. I also have the 103rd floor, 103, with people trapped also. I have the 83rd floor. When the wind shifted, firefighters could see at least five floors completely involved in fire. They knew that for those inside, conditions would be dire. As the jet fuel cascaded from floor to floor, burning everything in its path, it grew in volume, fed by oxygen, sucked through the elevator shafts in the center core. The temperature of 2,000 degrees blasted everything that got in its way. Those who survived the initial impact would be incinerated in seconds. 45 minutes into the incident, a thousand feet below, 500 firefighters have already arrived. Surrounding them are the remains of passengers from Flight 175. Over 100 firefighters had already been given orders and entered the two buildings. On West Street, Assistant Commissioner Steve Gregory had arrived, directly below the South Tower, with Safety Battalion Chief Arthur Lachiotis. They were setting up a command post. Paul Bereff had joined them with his camera. Everything was going as planned. Units were arriving and being sent to work. For some, these would be their final moments. And then it happened. 